Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss about symmetry. First of all, let us see when a plane figure is symmetric. A plane figure is symmetric or we can also say is reflection symmetric if and only if there is a reflecting line such that the figure and its image over the reflecting line coincide and this reflecting line is called the line of symmetry or we can also say it is the axis of reflection of the figure consider this triangle if we fold this triangle along the side ab then we find that the triangle ABC fits exactly over the triangle ABD. So we can say that triangle ABC is symmetrical about the line AB. So in this case, this line AB is the axis of symmetry. or you can say the line of symmetry. So this AB is a reflecting line such that the figure ABD and its image ABC coincide over the reflecting line AB and hence the triangle ADC is symmetric. A symmetric figure may have more than one line of symmetry. It is obvious that if a figure is symmetric then it has one line of symmetry but a symmetric figure can have more than one line of symmetry also. Whenever a figure has two identical halves, like for the figure that is triangle ABC, the two identical halves are triangle ABD and triangle ABC. So we can say that each half is the line reflection of the other. And this figure that is triangle ABC is actually symmetric. Let us consider some figures and their lines of symmetry. First we have a rectangle. For this rectangle PQRS we have two lines of symmetry XY and AB. So a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Consider the next figure that is a square. For this square PQRS we have four lines of symmetry AB, CD, QS and PR. These are the four lines of symmetry. So we can say a square has four 
four lines of symmetry. Next figure that we consider is a circle. For a circle we can say that it is symmetrical about any of its diameters. For this figure we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are the diameters of the circle. So the circle is symmetrical about any of these diameters. Next figure that we consider is an equilateral triangle. Let us find out the lines of symmetry for an equilateral triangle. This triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle and we find that there are three lines of symmetry for the equilateral triangle ABC These lines L, M, N are the lines of symmetry and these are the altitudes of the triangle ABC. So we can say that the equilateral triangle is symmetric about the altitudes of the triangle ABC. Thus, equilateral triangle is symmetric about its altitude. Next we consider a rhombus and we find out the lines of symmetry for a rhombus. Consider this rhombus ABCD. So this rhombus has two lines of symmetry and these lines of symmetry are along its diagonals. In this way, we can find out the lines of symmetry for any geometric figure. Next, we discuss point symmetry. A plane figure is said to have point symmetry if every line segment of the figure passing through a particular point is bisected by that point and this point is called the center of symmetry. Consider this parallelogram ABCD in which the diagonals AC, BD and the line segments EF, GH passes through the point O. So, the line segments AC, B, D, E, F, G, H passes through the point O and also they are bisected by the point O. So we can say that every line segment of the parallelogram 
A B C D is bisected by the point O. Hence we can say that this parallelogram A B C D has a point symmetry and the point O which is the point of intersection of the diagonals of parallelogram ABCD is the center of symmetry. Now as the parallelogram has a point symmetry so we can say the other parallelograms like the rectangle, square, rhombus will also have point symmetry. Now we can find out whether a geometrical figure has a point symmetry in the same way. Next let's discuss about the symmetry of letters. Consider this letter A of English alphabet. Now let's see if it is symmetrical or not. This letter A is symmetrical about this dotted line that is this dotted line or you can say the axis of symmetry divides this letter A into two identical halves. In the same way for this letter B this dotted line is the line of symmetry since it divides the letter B into two identical halves. In the same way for this letter C this dotted line is the line of symmetry. So these are the letters of the English alphabet which are symmetrical and their lines of symmetry are shown by the dotted lines. So these letters are symmetrical. Let us now see the non-symmetrical letters of English alphabet. These are the letters of English alphabet which are not symmetrical that is they do not have a line of symmetry. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of symmetry.